I'm Raj Kumar here in Muhanga, Rwanda, which is the center point of this hilly country, the perfect location from which to launch an unmanned aerial vehicle. And this is, in fact, Zipline's main launch site where they send drones across the country to deliver blood donations on demand to hospitals and health clinics around the country. It's a well-known program. Zipline's been getting lots of international media attention. But I think the key issue that we want to dive into today is the importance of not just the use of drones or unmanned aerial vehicles, but the growing focus on a systems-wide approach. That's what Zipline does that is unique, that there are few examples of in the world really today. And that is not just using a drone in a one-off scenario, but having a regulatory environment, having a donor-led coordination that allows you to really have a market for the use of these kinds of vehicles in many, many different areas and in a way that can actually be cost-effective. The technology itself is so exciting that it often blinds us from understanding what the use cases are, what the cost effectiveness can be. And as Devix has been covering, that's beginning to change. Rwanda is one of the few examples, but governments are starting to look into how they can develop the regulatory environments that get a zip line type operation up and running where they are, and not just in health potentially in the agricultural sector, in the humanitarian sector. There are lots of potential use cases, but of course you've got to trade it off against the, the real costs uh, of, of a motorcycle delivery system or of investing in roads. Drones on their own are not a panacea, as I think development professionals well know, but there is tremendous potential and seeing what has been accomplished here in such short time. Uh, this operation has been up and running just a couple of years. It is a, a huge advance in a relatively short time, and it shows what's possible when you have a system level scale, when you have a specific use case, in, in this particular case, blood, that is so well designed, so well suited for an unmanned aerial system. Uh, but getting the regulatory environment right, ensuring that we're not just thinking about the zip lines of the world, but creating an environment where every company can succeed and thrive, where we can really get to the performance, not just the number of flights that might take off, but the performance, the end result for development. That's the real focus of much of our coverage now at DevX on these topics, and development professionals everywhere are thinking about how they can integrate systems like these into their programming.